The ongoing narratives throughout this season of What If might be one of my bigger frustrations overall, but episode four, What If Iron Man Crashed Into The Grandmaster, holds the strange distinction of both being a continuation of season one and something wholly new as well. What is What If Season Two? Episode four, about. The Watcher begins by reminding us about the so-called Guardians of the Multiverse, the band of heroes that united to stop Ultron after he gained control of all of the Infinity Stones. This tale he wants to tell now is about how Gamora rose to greatness to become one of the aforementioned Guardians, but tells us her story began within someone else's, namely Tony Stark's. In this universe, Tony is able to send the nuclear warhead aimed at New York through the wormhole on time, but the portal closes behind him, preventing him from returning home. Fortunately, rather than dying alone in the cold, airless vacuum of space, Tony instead hurtles through presumably another wormhole and crash lands in the Grandmaster's palace on Sakaar. Tony's seen his fair share of weird stuff recently, but this takes the cake. The Grandmaster is beyond excited to see Tony. Tony is eager to return home, especially knowing that they won and that Pepper Potts is alive, but the Grandmaster insists he stay for a party, even enlisting Topaz's help via not so veiled threats. The celebration in question entails a trip to the battle arena, now acting as a race course. Valkyrie is one of the racers and completely dominates the competition, that is until her car flips over and she's pelted with tin cans and adorable chinchillas. The Grandmaster sets a giant, elephant-like beast on the remaining racers, including Korg, and Tony can't stand by and watch anymore, suiting up and joining everyone down in the arena. He tries to stop the creature using his repulsors, but they malfunction. Somehow the beast explodes anyway. Gamora tries to kill Tony. The reason? Gamora has arrived specifically to seek revenge on Tony Stark. The two of them are arrested and locked up in a large room with only one bed. Tony finally demands that Gamora tell him who she is and why she wants him dead. She introduces herself as a daughter of Thanos, which seems like explanation enough and is also reason enough for Tony to override the door and leave. Korg joins him, but they close the door, locking Gamora in before she can follow. Korg thoroughly messes up Tony's attempts to subtly sneak out, and their resulting argument gives Gamora enough time to catch up after all. She blows up their ride out, as well as the wall behind it, which is enough to alert the Grandmaster, who orders the people of Sakaar to track Tony down. Tony still doesn't see why Thanos wants him dead until Gamora spells it out for him. The Chitori were sent by Thanos as part of his plan. Tony vents his loss and frustration out on Gamora, unintentionally throwing her own trauma back in her face until he finally overhears the Grandmaster's message to the people and realizes what a truly terrible, corrupt leader he is. He leaves Gamora behind, resolved to stop the Grandmaster before taking the fight directly to Thanos. Gamora is apprehended by Topaz once again, though not for long, as Tony and Korg head out to find a driver to help them with their scheme. They come across Valkyrie in the bar, and Tony appeals to her reckless adrenaline junkie nature. She doesn't think he can do it, but the two form an alliance anyway. Tony builds himself a modified Iron Man suit and hijacks the Grandmaster's hologram system to broadcast his threats to all of Sakaar. He challenges the Grandmaster to a race for control of the planet. Topaz rightfully points out that there's no need for this since the Grandmaster already controls the planet, but fortunately for Tony and the plot, the Grandmaster is an idiot and accepts the challenge. It's Mad Max meets Mario Kart's Rainbow Road as the racers converge on the arena with Gamora and Valkyrie also participating. As things get tense and fiery, Tony questions Gamora's motivations for following her father's orders. As far as he can see, she doesn't have much of an identity outside of Daughter of Thanos and no function outside what he demands of her, and he tries to convince her to choose better for herself. Gamora ultimately helps Tony out of a tight spot and finally gives him her name, but this doesn't mean they're friends now. The race comes down to Tony versus the Grandmaster, which Tony just barely wins. The Grandmaster declares that since he is the one to name a winner, he chooses himself. An accidental run-in with Topaz's melting stick takes him permanently out of the running, though doesn't kill him, as the mid-credits scene shows and the crowd winds up crowning Valkyrie their king. Tony turns down an offer to stay and help Valkyrie opting to return home to Pepper instead. His plans, however, are thwarted when Gamora sneaks up on him and takes him to meet Thanos. 
What looks at first like a double cross turns out to be a triple cross when Tony and Gamora team up to take down the Mad Titan with Topaz's melting stick.